I think that society is improving and the conditions of living are becoming better for everyone and each day that passes we live in a more fair society and I see that unfolding and I'm glad that we're finally learning from our technology and this is happening rapidly and I just wanted to contemplate my view on humanity because from my experiences humans have been very horrible people but should I just assume that humans are bad people or should I assume that humans are good deep down or how should I feel about other humans? Should I feel threatened by them or should I be at peace with them? Relationships in my past have never worked out. But does this mean that humanity is bad deep down? No, it just means that I have not found others to connect with emotionally. But how should I feel about humanity in general? Well, I have gotten a lot of stalkers through this process. So that doesn't make me feel very good about humanity. But there's such a minority to me, it feels like a majority because it's a lot of people, but it's only a small portion of the audience that are doing these things. And the solution is to not be contactable, which is a shame for people wanting to be my friend, but that's how it has to be because I get stalkers in my life otherwise if I'm contactable, so I can't be contactable. But seeing humanity as these stalkers isn't healthy because humanity is not these stalkers and these stalkers are only a small portion of the public. So how should I see humanity? Because lately I've been thinking that humans are pretty good deep down and they generally mean well for other people. There's no one in my life that is trying to stop me from achieving success with my life. The few stalkers that I do get, I generally figure out how to get rid of them out of my life so they can't stop me in the future, which means getting rid of accounts and stuff like that. But it has taught me how to interact with society because I get these stalkers. So I can't be contactable because I get these stalkers. But that's not the human civilization. That is only a small portion of civilization. The general public supports me 
for being who I am. I don't have people scolding me for not working. I can live the life that I so choose and no one is interfering with me doing that, which is really awesome. I feel blessed to live in a society where I have free speech and I see the years pass and technology and our reliance on technology help improve our existence. I see we being capable of living more fulfilling lives with the assistance of technology and I feel that now more than ever the world is a place for people to find meaning Everywhere you turn, there's people's interpretations of meaning. And a lot of those places, if you search for long enough, you will find the answers to your questions. There's a lot of philosophy out there in the world, and it's only finding it and then experiencing it that's the only way to find it is through seeking so you have this world in front of you what are you going to do with it and i think now more than ever people can create the lives that they so desire with the help of technology and I think that humans are good deep down because they care about doing the right thing in most cases and it's only the few cases that you get where someone is doing the wrong thing and there's procedures, there's laws and regulations that are there to stop them from doing the wrong thing. So our society is built to help individuals prepare themselves for the life that they're going to live and that's awesome that I live in a society where people can choose whatever fields they're most passionate about and learn them in great detail from the massive amounts of work that is available that anyone can experience so there's options and even though there's a lot of bad people out there um there's also a lot of people that are seeing this world for what it is and using it to help empower them to live more fulfilling lives and these bad people that you get in society are a rarity. They just stick out because they make a ruckus. They scream and yell and and fight 
and they cause problems. So we see those problems and go, oh, people are bad, but that's not really how people are. And what I'm learning through some of my books that I've been reading is that humanity in general is not violent and not aggressive and we're really built for each other to socially take care of each other and be there for each other and it's really good to see when society's working in such a positive way that it empowers people to become whatever it is that they want to be, which in my mind is the best conception of myself possible. So what's the best possible version of myself? Well, tomorrow it will be implemented. And from what I learned today or what I learned tomorrow, I'll implement that, that the next day and just keep on implementing it. I'm good, and I can only be responsible for myself, but I can be an example for other people and pave ways for other people to achieve success through my own ideologies spreading them. I'm going to do as Gandhi suggests and be the change that I wish to see in the world. And I wish to see a good human species that is flourishing and refining and becoming better and better together, capable of more and more. And because I want to see that in the future, then I need to be the type of person that can enable that type of future. And I need to dedicate my life to spreading messages that are positive for other people to digest that can help them think about what they're doing because we only get one opportunity at life and I'm going to make the most of it. I don't know about you, but I suggest you make the most of it too and go down in history as someone important because you made yourself that important person. And I'm an example of someone trying to do that. And you're also an example Maybe you're not trying to do that right now, but I suggest that you try to do that in the future. But you have your own set of responsibilities. And this is mine, creating work that can lead to a more flourishing future a better future. In my past work, I was obsessed with utopian, society, utopian societies and creating one. But I had to think larger. I had to become the person that could enable a future society that is global to flourish, not 
a future society that is specific, national, a one world future where together as humans we hold hands and help each other through the tough times in life and we use technology to help us more effectively do that. I don't just see a better future. I make a better future. And through my efforts, the world is at least a little bit of a better place every day just because I existed. If you have not seen my blog yet, you are really missing out. Check out my blog. There's many entries and none of them are time relevant. So you can explore all the posts and each post is a different adventure and it's really cool. I recommend you check out my blog if you like my vlog. My feelings about other humans affects how I interact with humans. So should I think them unpredictable or immoral or bad people? Or should I think that they're just other people like me trying to get through this life? And should I also think that maybe they have something within them that wants to do better and maybe with many people I might be able to latch on to that aspect of them that wants to achieve greatness in life and then nurture it so that they can be planted in good soil and become a philosopher themselves? Can my content encourage other people to become philosophers? And if not philosophers that make work, could it at least encourage them to become philosophers in life and critically analyze their life in their day-to-day -day interactions. The news is not how the world exists. The news makes it by being unique, individual, and rare. That's how it becomes a news item. And we have an entire world for weird stories to play out. So we're bound to get news stories where horrible things happen. But that does not mean that the world reflects those news stories. We live in a very peaceful world most of the time. I see it worse because I live in a government housing facility and many of these people are not mentally healthy and they create scenes and go crazy. And that happens quite regularly. So I see that happen often. But that's 
not a representation on all of us. That's just a very small portion of us who are not mentally as capable as people like me. And that's something that I have to realize is I'm mentally capable. I was in the position where I could seek out philosophy and I could find what I was looking for. I could get a degree in philosophy and I could read lots of books and I could explore what my heart desired most in life. I am a very privileged person. I had all the information that I needed to create a really cool person in front of me and I merely had to learn it. And I found so much of it that I could keep learning and keep improving upon myself. And many people aren't wired to be able to do that. But I was, so I was in a privileged position to have the DNA and the environment to nurture my soul's desire. And this created a pretty cool person that cares about his society and the direction it's headed. And most people don't get these opportunities that I got. Most people have to work and aren't exposed to philosophy and don't really even understand what philosophy is and wouldn't know where to go to find philosophical fulfillment and maybe nothing in their life has led them to value philosophical insight or maybe they're stuck in a certain philosophy and can't break out of it or something like that like I'm so privileged in this life and because of that I can make my life into whatever I want and there's not many other people that are privileged like me and that means that they can't do that. So I should not expect others to do that. And I should not expect others to be interested in philosophy like I am. I am a unique creation. A one of a kind. I do hope to see more people like me in the future. But I won't hold my breath, but maybe I can inspire other people to dedicate their life to philosophy. So I dedicate my life to trying to inspire other people to dedicate their life to philosophy because most people have never experience this philosophy and that's where I can come in and help guide them in their philosophical journeys in life. I'm going to do some deep soul searching 
about this topic because in my past I always viewed humanity as evil and something negative whereas that's not the truth we're not all bad in fact most of us are pretty good people especially given the circumstances that their life has put them in I appreciate your attention span. Until next time, this is Wendell and Sophia signing off.